In the far north, the great ranging of the Night's Watch traverses the haunted forest. They have passed six abandoned wildling villages and have been traveling for months. They reach Craster's Keep, the home of Craster, an unsavory ally who marries his daughters and has no sons. Gior questions Craster and learns that he has not seen missing First Ranger Benjen Stark in years. Craster tells him that the wildlings are assembling under King Beyond the Wall Mance Raider. After John provokes Craster, Gior aggressively reprimands him outside and confirms that he is indeed grooming him for command. He tells John, You want to lead one day? Well learn how to follow. The watch is forced to move on when John follows Craster into the woods and sees him leaving a son for the White Walkers. Craster catches him and beats him. Gior reveals to John that he has always known that Craster sacrificed his sons to wildling gods but ignored it because of his value as an ally. The Ranging next camps at the Fist of the First Men where they await Corin and his party from the Shadow Tower. Corin arrives and reports sighting lookouts in the Skirling Pass. Given Mance's background as a deserter from the Watch, Corin predicts that the Wildlings will be more organized. He suggests they accordingly shift to wildling tactics and use a small group of scouts to overcome the lookouts. John requests to be part of the mission and Gior accepts with encouragement from Corin and a promise from Samuel Tarley that he will take on John's duties as a steward.